Hiroshima, the birth of nuclear terror. On August 6, 1945, the United States forever changed warfare by dropping Little Boy, a uranium-235 gun-type fission bomb, on Hiroshima, Japan. Little Boy was primitive by modern standards, measuring just 10 feet long and weighing 4,400 kilograms or 9,700 pounds. Carried by a B-29 Superfortress bomber, the bomb detonated approximately 580 meters, 1,900 feet, above the city with a yield of 15 kilotons, equivalent to 15,000 tons of TNT. The explosion reached temperatures of 540,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 times hotter than the melting point of steel, 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. The blinding flash created a fireball 1,200 feet in diameter, instantly vaporizing people within half a mile of ground zero. The shockwave flattened buildings across 13 square kilometers, five square miles, while the thermal radiation ignited fires throughout the city. Within seconds, Hiroshima was transformed into a flattened, burning wasteland. Around 80,000 people, nearly a third of the city, died instantly. By the end of 1945, radiation sickness and burns pushed the total to approximately 140,000 deaths. The bombing of Hiroshima, followed three days later by a plutonium bomb attack on Nagasaki, led to Japan's surrender and the end of World War II. B-83, the bomb that falls with 80 Hiroshimas. Compared to Hiroshima, how much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? The answer is terrifyingly much, much bigger. Consider the B-83, which can unleash an explosion of 1.2 megatons. For perspective, one megaton equals one million tons of TNT, or 1,000 kilotons. Hiroshima's bomb was just 15 kilotons, meaning the B-83 is 80 times more destructive. The mushroom cloud from this explosion would soar nearly 20 kilometers, 13 miles. For comparison, Mount Everest stands at 8.8 .8 kilometers, 5.5 miles, and commercial airplanes typically cruise at around 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles. The B-83 is a variable yield gravity bomb. It doesn't rely on rockets or propulsion. It simply falls from aircraft toward its target using gravity alone. At 12 feet long and 18 inches wide, the B-83 is roughly the size of a small fishing boat or telephone booth. It weighs around 2,400 pounds, 1,100 kilograms, and can be dropped from aircraft like the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber or the older B-52 Stratofortress. The B-2 Spirit alone can carry up to 16 of these bombs, dramatically increasing their destructive capability. It's specially built to penetrate deep underground before exploding, destroying even reinforced bunkers. To grasp the devastating power of the B-83, imagine its detonation over Shanghai. Instantly, a fireball nearly 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles wide, would vaporize everything within this area. Buildings within 7.5 kilometers, 4.6 miles, would collapse from the blast force, flattening much of downtown. Windows as far as 21 kilometers, 13 miles away, would shatter, sending deadly glass shards flying. Within 13 kilometers, 8 miles, people would suffer severe burns, affecting more than 500 square kilometers, 200 square miles. Such a blast could instantly kill around 1.5 million people and injure over 3 million more. Around 650 B-83 bombs were made, but this number has decreased steadily due to arms reduction agreements and modernization plans announced by the Biden administration in 2022. Ironically, the only other use scientists found for this weapon is potentially saving humanity by deflecting asteroids headed for Earth. Trident 2D5, the ocean's hidden apocalypse. With a destructive power of 3.8 megatons, the Trident II D5 missile can accurately strike targets across continents while staying hidden beneath the ocean. The missile measures 44 feet long, the length of a school bus, and weighs around 59,000 kilograms or 130,000 pounds. Powered by a three-stage rocket motor, it can travel up to 7,500 miles, 12,000 kilometers, at speeds over 18,000 miles per hour, 29,000 kilometers per hour. Satellite navigation guides the missile to within 300 feet of its target, more accurate than most land-based missiles. The Trident 2D5's standout feature is its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, allowing one missile to hit several targets or concentrate multiple warheads on a single location. Each missile carries up to eight W88 nuclear warheads, each with a 475 kiloton yield, about 30 times stronger than Hiroshima's bomb. To understand this power, this missile contains more destructive energy than all the bombs dropped in World War II, combined. If all eight warheads struck Beijing simultaneously, detonating a colossal 3.8 megatons TNT, they'd create a 10 square kilometer, four square mile fireball, instantly disintegrating all matter within. Buildings would be obliterated within an 11 kilometer, seven mile radius, flattening most of the city center. Thermal radiation would cause third degree burns to anyone within 22 kilometers, 14 miles, resulting in over 2 million deaths and 3 million injuries. The U.S. operates 14 Ohio-class submarines carrying 336 Trident II D-5 missiles, 
Their combined explosive power reaches an astonishing 1,164 megatons, equivalent to over 70,000 Hiroshima bombs. DF-5, China's Tower of Death. China's Dongfeng 5C, DF-5C, towers above its silo like a 10-story building, ready to deliver warheads across continents with pinpoint accuracy. The DF-5C is a two-stage liquid propellant missile measuring 107 feet long and 11 feet wide, weighing about 180,000 kilograms or 400,000 pounds. It boasts a striking range between up to 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, providing it with truly global strike capability. Like the Trident II, the DF-5C employs MIRVs to diversify its targeting. It can be equipped with up to 12 nuclear warheads, each delivering an explosive force of one megaton of TNT. If all 12 warheads were detonated in the same location, the total explosive force would reach an astonishing 12 megatons, an impact nearly 800 times greater than the Hiroshima explosion. If the DF-5C strikes Los Angeles, it would produce a fireball with a radius of approximately 3 kilometers, or 2 miles, instantly turning to vapor everything within this zone. The blast wave would cause widespread devastation, severely damaging structures within a 16-kilometer, or 10-mile, radius of the explosion. Third-degree burns, which cause the skin to melt and resemble dripping candle wax, could affect people up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles away. Estimated fatalities would exceed 1.6 million, with approximately 2.3 million more injured. Castle Bravo, America's deadliest nuclear test. On March 1, 1954, the United States tested its largest ever nuclear bomb, Castle Bravo, at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. This thing packed 15 megatons of raw power, exploding with more than twice the force scientists expected. A serious miscalculation. For comparison, Castle Bravo was roughly 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The blast sent radioactive debris scattering over 18,000 square kilometers, 7,000 square miles, contaminating nearby islanders and even reaching a Japanese fishing trawler. All 23 fishermen suffered severe radiation sickness, and one later died from it. It became America's worst nuclear disaster, sparking global outrage against nuclear testing. The explosion created a massive mushroom cloud stretching 7.2 kilometers or 4.5 miles wide and soaring 40 kilometers or 25 miles into the sky. It blasted a crater into the ocean floor nearly 6,500 feet wide and 250 feet deep. The blast was so intense that it caused severe burns on exposed skin at distances of 60 kilometers, 37 miles. Its flash of light was visible almost 400 kilometers, 250 miles away. If Castle Bravo had detonated over Moscow, an estimated 3.7 million would have died instantly, with more than 4 million injured. That sounds unimaginably destructive, right? Well, the next two take devastation to an entirely new level. R-36, the Soviet Satan. When NATO analysts first encountered the Soviet R-36 missile, they gave it a name that captured its terrifying impact. Satan, officially designated SS-18. The gigantic missile stands approximately 106 feet tall and 10 feet wide. The two-stage liquid-fueled behemoth weighs about 210,000 kilograms, or 465,000 pounds, which is roughly the combined weight of two Boeing 737 airplanes. It delivers a range of up to 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, allowing it to hit any target on Earth. Its most powerful version, the R-36M2 Voivoda, carries 10 warheads of 2 megatons each. Together, they unleash a total explosive force of 20 megatons, 1,300 times Hiroshima's power. These variants were specifically designed to annihilate heavily fortified targets, including missile silos and command bunkers. The missile can strike within 220 meters of its intended target after traveling thousands of miles. Now, picture an R-36 missile detonating over New York with a 15 megaton warhead. The resulting fireball would consume more than 30 square kilometers, 12 square miles, immediately evaporating all life forms within a three kilometer, nearly two mile radius. Shock waves would flatten buildings within 17 kilometers, over 10 miles, decimating much of the New York metropolitan area. The searing heat from the explosion would be intense enough to melt skin up to 40 kilometers, 24 miles away, scorching an immense area of 4,800 square kilometers, 1,850 square miles. The human toll would be catastrophic. Fatalities could surpass 4.5 million, within another 3.6 million suffering severe injuries. RS-28 Sarmat, Satan II, even deadlier than before. Menacingly dubbed Satan II, Russia's RS-28 Sarmat missile is engineered to evade missile defense systems. The Sarmat is a three-stage liquid-fueled missile weighing over 208,000 kilograms, 450,000 pounds, and stretching 116 feet long, with an astonishing range exceeding 18,000 kilometers, over 11,000 miles. It ranks among the most nightmarish weapons ever conceived. 
Armed with up to 16 warheads and advanced countermeasures, it can enter low Earth orbit to strike from any direction, even over the South Pole, bypassing traditional defense, which is primarily focused on northern threats. Some reports suggest that the Sarmat missile could potentially carry a payload of up to 50 megatons, matching the Tsar Bomba, the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. The Sarmat uses star positioning for precise targeting, and its short boost phase reduces the time it is visible to satellites equipped with infrared sensors, making it more challenging to intercept. The consequences of this 50 megaton warhead detonating over London City would create a fireball expanding over a 5 kilometer, 3 mile radius. This would instantly turn to ash everything within an 83 square kilometer, 32 square mile area. The blast wave would cause massive destruction up to 26 kilometers, 16 miles away, leveling buildings across more than 2,000 square kilometers, 800 square miles. The blistering thermal radiation from the explosion would inflict burns severe enough to destroy entire layers of tissue on people up to 60 kilometers, 37 miles away, devastating an area of nearly 11,000 square kilometers, 4,200 square miles. The sheer loss of life would defy belief. Estimated fatalities could exceed 6 million, with over 4 million more severely injured. The explosion would be so massive that people in Vienna, Austria, 1,200 kilometers, 750 miles away, could see it with the naked eye. Tsar Bomba 50, the king of nuclear weapons. On October 30th, 1961, the Soviet Union detonated Tsar Bomba, king of bombs, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created. This hydrogen bomb yielded 50 megatons when detonated on a remote Arctic island. Its intense shockwave flattened the landscape into a vast icy plain. The Tsar Bomba measured 26 feet long and weighed 27,000 kilograms, 60,000 pounds. Commissioned by Nikita Khrushchev, this 27-ton bomb was so massive, it needed a modified bomber aircraft just to carry it over Novaya Zemlya in the Arctic Circle. The explosion was so forceful that it almost destroyed the plane, sending it into a 3,000-foot dive before the pilot barely managed to regain control. Though engineers have the planned 100-megaton yield to limit radioactive fallout, the blast still delivered 3,300 times Hiroshima's destruction. The mushroom cloud soared to 64 kilometers, 40 miles high, nearly seven times the height of Mount Everest. Its shockwave circled the Earth three times and shattered windows hundreds of kilometers away in Norway and Finland. Heat from the blast was so intense it caused severe burns up to 100 kilometers, 62 miles away. If Tsar Bomba had been detonated over Tokyo instead of a remote testing site, it would have caused approximately 9 million deaths with another 9.2 million injuries. Tsar Bomba, 100. The bomb scientists refused to build. Now, you already know that Tsar Bomba 50 was actually just a scaled-down version of what was theoretically possible. This enormous bomb, Tsar Bomba 100, would have produced a mind-boggling 100 megaton blast, equivalent to over 6,600 Hiroshima bombs combined. The design involved three explosive layers separated by uranium, but the idea was abandoned because testing it was way too dangerous. Also, the bomb was extremely heavy, so heavy in fact that no missile could launch it, and no aircraft could safely carry it. Soviet physicist Andrei Sakharov, who helped design the weapon, calculated that a single 100 megaton weapon could kill up to 100 million people if strategically detonated. Project Nomon, when megatons weren't enough. In 1954, American physicist Edward Teller shocked nuclear officials by proposing a weapon with destructive power beyond comprehension, the Nomon, a one gigaton bomb. This theoretical monster would have unleashed 1,000 megatons of explosive force, 66,666 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Teller's Livermore Laboratory actively pursued this design for several years, even scheduling a prototype test for Operation Red Wing in 1956 before cancellation. Unlike most thermonuclear weapons, Noman's immense yield would have created effects that defy conventional scaling laws. A one gigaton detonation could ignite fires across an area 300 kilometers, 186 miles in diameter, equivalent to nearly the entire state of South Carolina. Project Sundial, the weapon that scared nuclear scientists. In the same 1954 presentation, Edward Teller revealed an even more terrifying concept, Project Sundial, a 10 gigaton thermonuclear weapon. This unimaginable device would have used the one gigatine gnomon merely as its trigger, creating an explosion 666,666 times more powerful than Hiroshima. The proposal horrified even hardened nuclear scientists. One committee member warned it would contaminate the Earth, while physicist I. I. Rabi dismissed it as an advertising stunt, too absurd to consider seriously. Unlike the Nomen, Sundial never progressed beyond theoretical calculations. A 1963 study concluded that a 10 gigaton detonation at 45 kilometers altitude would ignite fires across an area 800 kilometers in diameter, roughly the size of France. 
From the 15 kilotons of Little Boy to the terrifying 10 gigaton sundial, we've envisioned weapons that could end civilization itself. 